Every holiday season, I always try to think of some delicious treats that I can whip up to give to friends and family. So this year, I thought I'd make them some peppermint bark. Peppermint bark is a chocolate-based candy with peppermint pieces, usually layered with both white and dark chocolate, and what I consider a holiday classic. It's simple, easy to package, and completely festive. Let's get started. You're gonna need 10 ounces of dark semi-sweet chocolate chips, 10 ounces of white chocolate chips, one and a half teaspoons of peppermint extract, and three candy canes. First, take a baking sheet, flip it over, and then grease the bottom. Then, spread a layer of parchment paper on top. We're using the back side because I find it easier to spread the chocolate and you don't have the ridges in the way. Now, take a medium-sized saucepan and fill it up a quarter way with water. Put it on the stove on medium heat until it starts to steam. Then, take a bowl and put it on top of the saucepan. This is our double boiler that creates a soft heat to melt the chocolate without burning it. Add your dark chocolate and once it starts to melt, stir it up. Once it's fully melted, take it off the saucepan and then pour it onto the parchment paper. Now spread your chocolate into a thin and even layer with your offset spatula. I like using an offset spatula because it helps me create this nice and thin layer versus a regular spatula which I don't have as much control with. Pop your chocolate into the fridge for about 10 minutes so everything completely hardens. Now, take your candy canes and put them in a plastic bag. Then, with a rolling pin or a hammer, start to crush them into small pieces. Then, shake it through a sieve so you get rid of the small dust and set it aside. Take another bowl and melt the white chocolate on your double boiler. Once it starts to melt, add in your peppermint extract and stir. Let your white chocolate cool for a few minutes before spreading it over your dark chocolate. You don't want to risk melting your dark chocolate layer underneath. Now take your baking sheet out of the fridge and spread your white chocolate over your dark chocolate. Now take your candy cane pieces and just sprinkle it all over your white chocolate top. Doesn't it look pretty? It's so festive. I love it. Now take your whole baking sheet and put it back in the fridge for about 20 minutes until it hardens. Finally, take your baking sheet out of the fridge, lift up your parchment paper, and break your peppermint bark into pieces. I have the perfect little box that I can package the peppermint bark in. It has a little window on top so you can see all the pretty details. Line your box with some festive tissue paper. I use the metallic gold one because it really brings out the color of the peppermint bark. And carefully place the bark inside. Close your box and tie it with a ribbon, and it's ready to be given away. Do you bake for the holidays? What do you plan to give? Comment below, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be sharing more gift ideas, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!